one of the articles, though, that people were also suggesting that potentially Casey Novak should come back. So I don't think that bringing her back, if that was an option, would necessarily be a bad option because we don't know how long the show is going to be on and it might be an interesting way to round out the show. Yeah, I think bringing back a fan favorite would be a really great way to kick off season 21. I would be a Mm -hmm. fan of the three, any of the three. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think is going to happen because I don't think the actor is interested. Mm -hmm. Novak or Cabot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and if any chance, and I've been wanting this for a long time, if there's any chance, and you know what I'm going to say. Oh, I mean, I'm on completely on board. If with Detective this. Stabler could come back in any capacity, I would be interested. Yes. I. What if in the background, like while he was off, he went to law school, and now he comes in as the oh my god DA. I take it. Look, uh, these are ideas of gold here. Yes. Oh, I wish. Or what if um, what if somehow like. Parisi becomes like moves into like the prosecutor's office. Did, hasn't he been going to law school? Did he finish? I think he finished. Oh, okay. I think he just decided to stay in SVU because yeah. he felt that he, his work was important there. I really like Carisi. Me too. He's you know that Carisi is from Staten Island. Is he really? Well, in the, char- the character oh. from Staten Island. Yeah. And they always make fun of him for it. But <laughs> fun fact. Yeah. He is, um, Amanda right now is my least favorite of the crew. I don't dislike her, but. I don't understand her motivations a lot of the time. It doesn't, I feel like they're having a problem with her character development as Mm -hmm. well. Because she swings, like, both ways. It's either she is a recluse or she's, like, completely. She just keeps having babies. And they don't like, (laughs) she has these kids on the show. And they, I know she's probably just having, like. In real life, like, she gets pregnant and they just write it into the show, but they don't make it a huge deal. They'll mm-hmm. make, like, one episode about her situation. But it's just, I don't know, I just find it strange. <laughs> do you, What I find strange is, do you think that there's a reason that they purposely keep her single as well as Olivia single? Like, I don't I, know. I like, let them be happy. At some point, like, what are you trying to say? Like, the, like I guess, like, you're trying to say, like, the job is so all-encompassing in their life that it's hard for them to maintain a stable relationship well i guess that's true for all of them because finn single remember the season he went on a date with that old flame oh that was this past season yeah and that was uh the hashtag was what was it finn's funny valentine (laughs) (laughs) felt so bad for him um and then carisi single because he's in love with amanda Mm -hmm. and then amanda just is doing whatever she's doing. And Olivia just gets her heart broken. Why do you think that Amanda doesn't want to get with Carisi? Um, I don't know. I think she probably, I think Amanda usually ends up with a bad kind of guy and Carisi's a good guy and she just doesn't know how to handle that. Well, the last doctor she was with wasn't bad. The father of the most recent baby? Yeah. Well, he tried to marry her. She wouldn't do it. No. And who knows? Why not? It makes no sense to me. I mean, I never understand when people are just turning down proposals like that. I don't know either. Make it sound like they're always coming around. Well, I think the reason that Olivia has stayed single is so that if Christopher Maloney ever does return to the show as Detective Elliot Stabler, they can, for once, get together. Because maybe at that point he'll be divorced. He was married. He was married, then then they were separating. Then his wife got pregnant. Then they were kind of back together, right? Am I yeah, I think that's right. Like, and then he left. Yeah, so we don't know what happened. So he yeah. could have gone to law school. He could be divorced. He could still be married. So we just don't know. Yep. And he could have always held a candle for Olivia. Mm-hmm. And they that's come back. True. And that's how that's how the show ends. Is them? Yeah. Retiring. And falling in love. So overall, I think the writers need to do a better job. I think that this Peter Stone exit was one of the worst exits. They should have at least said like they need me back in Chicago or something. Yeah, I like, mean, we could have we could have done anything yeah. other than the same exact storyline you just <laughs> did. <Yeah. laughs> it worked. It was good. It was good. Season nineteen doesn't mean you should do it again in season twenty. 
Like, what do you think that they were sitting around the writer's table and they're like, I have an idea. And then they're like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Like, you know, when we would work together and people would like, you would say something and I would say the same exact thing that you said. You think that that's how their writer's table was? (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like it. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's great. (laughs) Oh, they, yeah. I mean, I think they have the ability to do better, and I think I believe that they will. I think next season. I I didn't really love this season in general. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about it because I didn't really like it. I don't like how they're constantly having somebody go after Olivia. I feel like every season. And I also think that they're making her too. I understand that she's been the job for a long time, but I also think that they're making her too Mm -hmm. one-sided. She's not looking at situations She's not looking at the entire scope of situations. It's very hard for her to think that somebody is lying ever. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is something that they need to help improve her character on. And I'm sure they're writing it that way for a reason. However, it becomes a little bit frustrating as a viewer. Yeah, I think you're right with that. She always is a, She's always been an advocate for the victims, but she doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. She doesn't look at the whole story. She just takes mm-hmm. them at, at word every time. At least this season right. she has been. Right. Exactly. She also has had some really crazy one-liners that I recorded on my phone. I rewind and then recorded. And one of them was they were this guy that like married his like 13-year-old stepdaughter or something. Total mm-hmm. creep. At the end of the show when he gets arrested, she just goes, get this douchebag out of here. <laughs> and then there's... <laughs> And then there's another one where she just goes, you done, in someone's face. And I that one I loved. So Olivia's, some of Olivia's one-liners have been killing me. They seem like they don't belong in the show, like, with her character, but I liked them. So I'll take it. Yeah. Maybe done. they're just having Maybe they're just having trouble with the writing. I don't know, but season 20 was wild, and not necessarily yeah. in a good way. <laughs> But there were positive notes. Snoop Dogg was on that season. Oh, that's definitely a high. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unintended. Yes. (laughs) So Snoop Dogg was on. Um, I'm trying to think what else they did. I would say that was probably one of the higher ones. Yeah. Was there anything ripped from the headlines? Yeah, there were a lot of things that were quote unquote ripped from the headlines. Anything Um, memorable? uh, Did they do like a Jesse Smollett like thing or... I, I don't Probably. know. Probably. Or was this season the one where they did, um, I think that this season they had like the couple on that oh, the famous couple that. And the girl had oh. was actually, had been missing since she was a child. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. kind of forgot in quotes who she was. Mm-hmm. She was like brainwashed. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess since this is a <laughs> since this is a mini episode, we could just sum it up and yeah. like sound coherent. <laughs> so. Hashtag bring back Barba. Bring back Barba, or you could bring back Novak, or you could bring back Cabot, or you could bring back Detective Stabler, who is now Detective Stabler Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. I'm going to write a letter every day to NBC and ask for that to happen. So those are options, but let us know what you think, and uh, let us know... If you have any better ideas, I'm sure you have better ideas than they've had at the writer's table. So hopefully they'll be listening to this and taking our ideas very seriously. Agreed. Anything else to add, Lisa? (laughs) That's all I've got. 